everyone, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a huge welcome to everyone. We're so glad that you're here and you know, it's just truly our prayer that you guys are blessed as we um, just share what the Lord has um, spoken to our hearts about and that it, we just pray that it encourages you in your own walk with the Lord. And um, also huge thank you to everyone who continues to support us. It's Amen. just blesses Praise us. Praise the name um, of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> And um, if you would like to support us, we do have the PayPal link below, and you can just click that. Because we are support-based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we just really appreciate it. Yeah. It's just praise the Lord. We just we can go on. We can make a whole video. Honestly, we should. We should do a whole video, a Thanksgiving video, because that's how long it would take for us to just tell you how we feel about like yeah. how God moves and what he does through, through the giving. It's just amazing. Yes. It's amazing. So there you go. So today, Two um, cents at it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, today we just kind of wanted to really kind of share, um, you know, just what we believe, like why God is doing what he's doing. You know, the last video we did talk about, he's saying like, I'm doing this because I love you. But what are the results of what, you know, what the Lord is doing as far as fulfilling purpose? his promises to his people and why this is such an important piece of what overall God is doing with the body of Christ. So over the last few days we've gotten um, <laughs> we've gotten a lot of different things from the Lord as far as just putting these puzzle pieces together. Um, a while ago we were seeing the number 150 and I think we've mentioned this in past videos but um, you know we were really asking the Lord like what is it what does that mean? And we really felt like God was saying, like, he's speaking a jubilee for the body, soul, and spirit. And and because 50 is the number of jubilee, um, and then, of course, three of them would be 150. This is the deal. We were seeing the 150 like crazy. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we're at the mall. I'm going to the bathroom. And I turn the corner, and all these water bottles and this vendor is like, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50. And I just, it just jumped out at me. If it wasn't the Lord, it wouldn't jump out at you. Mm -hmm. I'm just just throw that out as a prophetic number, a prophetic sign. I got this one word right now that keeps jumping out at me. It's not a prophetic number. It's a specific word. And God keeps throwing it at me. And I'm like, God, what are you trying to say to me through this particular word? It's literally one word, an actual four letters, one word. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you saying to me through this? And um, the word is time. I'll just throw it out there. He just keeps, I'm like, what are you saying to me? We don't have a, information on that video to come later maybe but I so I just asked him I was like Lord what are you saying to us about this 150 because if you don't tell us we're not going to know mm -hmm. we can research it but it's like unless your presence is on it we don't know and right then the Lord just answered me now that doesn't happen very often or mm -hmm. like all the time you can't expect that all the time you have to wait on the Lord but he was like I'm, de I'm declaring jubilee for your body your soul and your spirit three jubilees that's what he said there's three jubilees for your body your soul and your spirit i'm like wow so there you go i just want to throw that in there and we've continued to see 150 quite a bit especially recently oh um yeah. and yeah. but then it also was coinciding with the lord he was showing us the number 20 and um and we were looking that up and the number 20 meant what means kind of redemption and and it also was um I came across this verse, it's Ezekiel uh, 41, verse 4, and it says, and, the, and he measured the length of the interior of the second room in the temple proper, 20 cubits, and the breadth, 20 cubits. And he came out and said to me, this is the most holy place, the holy of holies. Well, it's interesting because on that day that we kept getting the 20s, I kept getting the 414. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, that's like the from, you know, was it from weeping to weaning? It's yeah. The, it's the story of Hannah and, and the end of curse time and all that stuff. But I'm like, eh, it might mean something different. I don't mm -hmm. know. And it's like she looks up Ezekiel 41 verse 4 yeah. and it's about the 20s. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? And it's about the holy place. Yeah. And so it was just this idea awesome. of like, you know, like the Holy of Holies, it's 20 by 20. And, um, and we were reading further in um, 
the document that we have that has to do with different numbers. And Dr. It, Stephen Jones. Yeah, and he was even talking about like the there's 20 pillars like in the outer courts and. Mm -hmm. So there's a significance with the number 20 and the temple. And he also mentioned, you know, like the outer court can represent the body, you know, and then there's the inner court, which represents your soul. And then the holy of holies is your spirit. And um, again, I was just like, yes, that's what the Lord is talking about. He's talking about bringing the temple a complete restoration. And so as the Lord, he, he wants to just bring a newness to the temple of um, of our hearts, and that's what you know. The temple of the Lord. It's not a physical thing like it used to be in the Old Testament. It really is our hearts. Our hearts are the temple of the Lord, and so He's like, I want to bring wholeness to the temple of your heart, and that is also like the body, the soul, and the spirit. Um, and and so there's going to be. He's like, I'm going to try. I got the word. Um, we were uh, praying the other night, and as I was praying, I actually had, I was reminded of um, being aligned. Um, and before our fourth was born, I had, to, I mean, it was, it was a necessary thing. It was, I, mean, I was in a lot of pain and um, with my back, and so I was like, all right, well, let's just, I went to the chiropractor, and so they had to align me. And, um, and basically within 12 hours I was going into labor and so it was just kind of like there was this alignment that really needed to take place and I just feel like the Lord is saying like there is an alignment that needs to take in place in the body of Christ because what we've received in the Holy of Holies um, and what we've heard our spirits have heard we've really had to contend and fight for to continue to believe mm -hmm. for what the Lord has spoken to us and um, because our soul and our body are not seeing the same things, the soul being really just uh, our your, physical our life, physical what we life see. everything around us. You hear a word from God, and it's like, that's amazing. And you go into this new thing of life, and you go, this is not at all what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. So yeah. your soul is seeing something different than what your spirit is hearing. Yeah. You know? And, you know, and then some of us, like your body itself, you hear the Lord speaking healing and, and, and over your body, but your body is still in the place that it's been. And, and so the Lord's like, I need to, he wants to bring alignment for all, th to have all three of those lining up, meaning they match. Um, so what we've been hearing in the spirit, we're going to see in the physical and the natural. Yeah. And, and so God's saying, that is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be bringing an alignment which will bring about a newness to the temple um, of, of our hearts and so we can see him more clearly, um, which has really been something too that's been for me um, on my heart a lot, especially with like the, we were, when we, we were getting the 2020, it always makes me think of vision <laughs> and mm -hmm. even prior to that the Lord kept kind of, um, sharing with me just the idea of you know seeing properly like taking off the veils removing um, yeah. the scales from the eyes and I feel like God's like that is why I'm doing what I'm doing it's to to bring about the fulfillment of my word for people but that they would be aligned with like the fullness like their whole temple their whole heart everything about them will be aligned with the spirit and and that we will also see clearly. That we'll be able to um, recognize and know him and see him properly and see him for who he really is. And it's just kind of, that's really what I feel like, why it's so important that God does what he does right now. Um, because it's, it's a needed thing. It's a needed adjustment for the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah, and that ties into, like, what I felt like the Lord gave me as far as, like, you know, God is really big into romance. <laughs> <laughs> Song of Solomon. He, he's really big into <laughs> romance. Um, you know, pictures, you know, uh, The Bride, mm -hmm. like you said, Song of Solomon. Um, but he's also, I mean, he, he, he's a shepherd, he's a father, but he's also a lover. 
mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and Jesus wants to marry a bride. He wants us, God wants us, the Father wants us to be married to his word, basically, mm-hmm. as a people. And I just felt like the Lord was saying to us this morning, the, 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 particularly because I feel like, wow, this really does have to do with the alignment thing that you're mm-hmm. talking about is that he's going to do everything that he's going to do to win our hearts back to him. Yeah. To, like when he said at the beginning of our journey in 2017 and all throughout 2018, even now, he's like, I'm going to do this for my namesake. What do you mean for your namesake? So that people can see me for who I really am. Mm -hmm. So that they can be in awe of me. So that the fear of the Lord can be in them. Well, what do you mean the fear of the Lord? Well, the awe of God. To be like, whoa, you're God, and whoa, you are God. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, both of those together in one capsule, you know, in in one thing, in one heart, that's called the fear of the Lord. You know, the, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, and, and God doesn't want us to be afraid of him. But he does want us to respect him. He wants us to be in awe of him. But but ultimately, he wants us to be in love with him. Yes. He wants us to be like, you are the only thing I want. You are the only thing that matters. You are, you are it. Wow, look at the demonstration of your love to bring me out of bondage, to bring me out of the wilderness, yeah. to bring me through what you brought me through. Man, you threw me in a pit, then you threw me in prison, and now I'm here in the, in the Pharaoh's seat. Like, wow, you're amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like God wants to endear our hearts to him. Mm-hmm. When our hearts are holding reservations open mm-hmm. for other things, then we're out of alignment. Yeah. Things, Something's just not right there. You still feel like, okay, if I had God and this, I would be happy. And it's like, no, you know, there's... There's, you've got to have your heart fully, 100% locked in, meshed in with God's heart. Then all those other things can be added to you besides, and they won't become idols. Yeah. They won't become other things that make you happy. I mean, obviously God has things that he wants to give us to make us happy. Trust me. Don't, don't, don't make me get into my car topic. Tell him, Michelle. Tell him. Say, don't get him started. Yeah, don't, don't get him started on the cars, man. I got, <laughs> I got a Hot Wheels garage plant here. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> and I'm not talking about the 99 cent things from Walmart. Anyway, so <laughs> but it's like, what are all those things without the presence of God? We we're just reading that this morning mm-hmm. about Moses saying, if you don't go up with us, how are we going to be? Th- th- there's no need. Yeah. We might as well just leave us right here if you mm-hmm. don't go up with us. And so the Lord is trying to scoop myself up here. <laughs> um, so that's what I just wanted to share. Just felt like the Lord wanted us to know that, like, I'm doing what I'm doing to win your heart. Yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing so that you can open up your eyes and see me. Mm-hmm. But, of course, that's a choice. You know, yeah. we, don't, I mean, we don't necessarily need to get into the details of that. But it's like, that's why he's doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, not, I know not everyone's, he knows that not everyone's going to respond with this awe and fear of the Lord. Some people are going to be like, oh, that's awesome. What else can you give me? Mm -hmm. What else can you do for me? And then every blessing that he gives will turn into like rotten manna, Mm -hmm. you know? But it's like for for those who are really, see, the people, for those who already have a heart for the Lord, it's just going to be that much sweeter when God does what he does because we are going to have our eyes opened to see him in a way we haven't seen him. Mm-hmm. We're going to behold him in a way we just haven't beheld him. I've yeah. known the Lord for 25 years. You know, Adam might be like, you a baby. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Noah will be like, Psh, I didn't even have a kid by the time I was 25. What are you talking about? Yeah. You know, <laughs> what you, you 47? You a little, you a toddler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to 950 years, you, you a toddler. Mm-hmm. You, you a two year old, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like. There's so much more of God to see, yeah. and He wants us to see it him, for that. But we got a there has to be a preparation and a mm-hmm. healing and a, and all of that that comes. But it's like He wants to reveal Himself, and as we see Him for who He really is, then that will be like that will be part of that alignment as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and kind of going back to 
what I was really sensing too from the Lord is just that he is in the process of really birthing the really the I guess like a new bride of Christ, a new people who really are, their hearts are devoted to the Lord. Their hearts are for Him. And um, and I, I just believe that there, that there is this alignment that needs to take place prior to the birthing. Um, it will actually kind of result in the birth. It's like, all right, I'm aligning my people, and there will be this birth, this heart change, really. Yeah. Um, that takes place and I was also reminded when I was getting like the 2020 um, and I believe that it could could be I'm not saying that it is yet but like a word for the year 2020 is just that we'll be s- truly seeing him for who he is and I felt like even in that the Lord was like it's kind of a process um, similar to when babies are born they have every their eyes are developed as far as like they have everything they need to be able to see but there is still a process that they go through um, as they as they grow to be able to get full sight like 2020 vision like most adults have oh um, my word okay so remember the vision I had in the in the wilderness uh-huh. and the I saw the Lord and he was just like and then the rain was pouring down uh-huh. and it was pouring down so heavy the blessing and all which represented the blessing it was so heavy I couldn't even see him he was mm-hmm. blurry yeah I'm just saying like that's probably what you're talking about yeah. there it's just like I, I didn't like it I didn't like the fact that I couldn't see him like mm-hmm. no 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 Lord I if it's gonna blur my vision of you that's kind of the opposite of what I'm wanting <laughs> you know what I mean and but God's just like no 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 just receive it just mm-hmm. take it in mm-hmm. just your eyes will adjust. You yep. will you will see me. And it's just like, I don't know, that just hit me when you said yeah. that. Because it brought more clarity to that vision of like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe that's why. Because yeah. in the birth of the promise, he's just going to be blurry for a yeah. little bit, you know? Which is what, with babies, right? When they're yeah. first born, they they don't see. Like, they you got to be within like, you know, 8 inches. They say like 8, 11 inches where it's more you know the the mom or the face is more focused for a baby they've got to be held close and I really was feeling like God was like that's what he's going to be doing you know there's promises that are going to be um you know given and and our hearts are going to be changed which is birthing the new new bride of Christ you know but at the same time we're going to be he's like I'm going to be holding you so close because your eyes are going to start to get focus in on me and as we grow and mature we'll be able to see more and more clearly you know I was looking at um, kind of researching a little bit about just the development of baby's eyes and you know it, it starts off where they they can't really see super well like things aren't very much in focus so you gotta be really close up with them but then as they get older um, you know, they can start seeing right around five, six months, they really start distinguishing colors. Um, they can actually make them out prior to that. It's just kind of shades of gray almost. You know, it's like, oh, there's, I can tell that there's something different between this darker color and a brighter color, but they don't really, their eyes don't really, aren't focused. And as they continue to get older, it becomes more and more focused. And I just thought, it was interesting, though. I didn't realize um, it's not until children are around between four and five years old that they have the kind of vision an adult would have if they had 20-20 vision. Um, so it takes all that while for this development to take place as far as even perception of depth and things like that. And I just felt like God was saying, like, there's going to be a process of just really our heart's eyes discovering who the Lord is and really starting to see him for who he really is and I really think that that is just it really is just the love of God and his wisdom I think when he does that because if you think about like for a baby they come out into this world if they were to have like vision like we do I think it would just truly overwhelm them sure. because they wouldn't ha- you know and it could be a, a really kind of scary thing but <laughs> you know it's like but they slowly develop all of this vision and 
and it's like it actually becomes a great bonding um, experience, you know, because they really start to um, they just slowly see their world. Um, I think, and and so I was just thinking, like with the Lord, when what He's doing with us as His people, um, as He showers and just mm -hmm. brings down that rain, and just does so many things in our hearts and our lives that it truly will just be like, oh my gosh, like this is unbelievable, Lord, wow, you know, kind of like that vision where it's like, where I can hardly see you, there's just so much going on, it's like one thing on top of the other, but then I feel like the Lord's like, all right, once I'll be this carrying is, you. Yeah, I'll be, be carrying right you, and I'm going to be right here with you, um, which kind of goes also into something the Lord put on my heart a couple of years ago, right at the beginning, near the beginning of this journey, was that this idea of a fourth trimester. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after you have a baby, they call that the fourth trimester, usually like the next three months, the first three months of a baby's life, approximately. Because it's like the baby's out, but they still, they, they just need a lot of closeness with the mother and... Um, and so tell you what when the Lord showers on us I'm going to need to be very close yes <laughs> be like Lord I am at your hip right now yes I'm serious because I'm mm -hmm. like like if particularly if it if it turns out anywhere near what I'm thinking or th that doesn't matter what I'm thinking what he promised is like when that happens it's like I am gonna need the Lord yeah so badly <laughs> like but I like just, a newborn baby needs the yeah. mother, you know? He's yeah, gonna, they just need to be close. They love, need. you know, being held, and it's a, a very oh, yeah. special bonding time. Um, and and it's like the Lord is just saying, like, that is that is what I'm I'm doing with my people. Their hearts are going to be changed, and I'm just going to, I'm going to be holding them close. I'm going to be bonding with my people in a way that um, hasn't happened. Um, and... And I just think that it's there is a a time, um, a season for that. That the Lord is just going to be holding us really close and bonding with us as our eyes adjust, as we really start seeing Him for who He is. He's just going to keep revealing more and more of Himself, and um, and we're going to just be feasting on the promises. I think that's why even in that vision there was this kind of we were feasting and we were just like. You know, we were really full <laughs> off of just, and I believe it's oh, the Oh, after promises. we went through the banquet yeah. doors. And yeah. Whoo, we're, we're and then we were landed our, in our seat. Our seat yeah. And we're just feasting on the promises, and we're just just satisfied, completely satisfied by the Lord. And it's like, but even in that, there's this time, I think, mm -hmm. just a, a, a part of just really enjoying and just being... Um, kind of enveloped in the fulfillment of his word in our life mm -hmm. and and to really just be it's going to be a treasured time and just a a a deep I don't know just deep bonding time I believe for Absolutely. the the his his bride and for us to really just come into just a closer um relationship with him it's not it's not a time where we're going to be working it's as far as just like you know doing 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 i really feel like it's a time where we're just like at kind of at the feet of jesus but really just fellowshipping with him and just enjoying him and it's kind of you know like that time like a honeymoon kind of time you yeah. know that that sense of where it's just like you it's just the two of you alone and you're just really just just in love like you said God is like, I'm doing this because I'm just like, I want my people to love me. I want them to truly just fall in love with who I am. And that it's not, you know, it's not because you're just serving me and it's like, well, Lord, I, you know, I am grateful for what you've done on the cross for me. It's just a true love relationship where he's like, I've wooed your heart and, mm, and you Jesus. are really just in love with me and yeah. and you just want to be with me and you just you're just like wow like you're so amazing and mm -hmm. wonderful and I can't think of any other place I'd rather be and and that it would truly just be
coming from our hearts that are filled with just great joy um, for the Lord. And I just really feel like that's kind of the, what we are getting ready to go into um, as He fulfills His Word in our life. Um, then we'll be entering into this time of rest. Um, that's been a huge thing um, that the Lord has continued to speak. Um, he actually even spoke that um, through uh, Bob Jones. We saw a video. Uh, oh, his 100 year yeah, prophecy? Yeah, it was 100 year prophecy, and it Prophesied goes by over decades. Every decade. <laughs> and, and he said the decade from uh, basically 2010 to 20, 2020. 2020 would be years of faith and the Lord building up the faith in his, his believers and in the body. That's and true. and he said from twenty twenty <laughs> to twenty thirty we're gonna be years of rest. And and I just You're really gonna be entering into the rest of God. Yeah. <laughs> and and there's so much, you know, there's our ideas of what that might mean, but then there's also what the Lord is gonna be revealing and showing to us. Um, but I just believe that there is going to be a rest in our hearts, a sense of just great... And I think he said the 30s were going to be the family of God, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and so it's like there's just, I think, a deep um, rest, meaning like a settledness in our hearts of like we are the Lord's and no one else. And, and I think that's also, that nothing, is a nothing word. Can take me away from Yeah, it. that's a, yeah. another word I felt the Lord said he was, it was going to be happening was a branding, you know, and that same idea of just we're going to be branded for the Lord. It's like, mm -hmm. wow, God, nothing in this world compares to you. Imprinted. Yeah. Imprinted on mm -hmm. our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so I am just, I personally am super <laughs> excited for just, what the Lord is doing, and He, I, I think I'm constantly amazed, you know, there's what the Lord shares with us, there's what the Lord shares with um, so many other people, um, you can see that on just, you know, there's so many people even on oh, YouTube. Oh, like the and Nicole uh, S Samudio, or whatever her name was, <laughs> that video was amazing. Yeah. She's so good. And, um, but there's just, I mean, so many, so many people out oh, there, sure. even so many of you. Um, the Lord is speaking words that we don't necessarily know about because you're not, you know, God hasn't called you to, you know, be on YouTube or whatever. But it's like God speaks to his His people. He's letting his all people the time. know what he's doing. Yeah, he really yeah. is. And I just, I just love it. I love that God is just speaking to so many of us. Um, and I just, you know, sometimes it's like you, you get... Oh wow, the Lord is saying this and doing this, but then and there is so much. I am just truly amazed at so much of what the Lord is doing on so many levels, you know, personal um, levels in our hearts, but just you know, states and nations and the really the whole world and everything that He's doing. It's just kind of mind-boggling. Like, yeah. Lord, this There's is a just lot going truly on. amazing. <laughs> yeah, are... he, He's got a whole lot going on. <laughs> God's speaking into every realm he of is. existence. You know, he you, really is. you tap in. You just you take a little peek into what God's speaking into the political realm, yeah. and you'll see like, wow, that's the Lord, and He's definitely speaking that. But it's like, oh, that doesn't really have anything to do with me right now. I'm yeah. not really in that. Yeah. God doesn't have me in that realm right now. Yeah. But it's you can you can clearly see like, wow, God is moving over there. Yeah. And God's moving in the entertainment industry, and God is moving in business. Yes. God's moving, and He's got people stationed in every one of those areas. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just you, you, it's the Lord. Yes, the Lord, one hundred percent, speaking into those areas because He's trying to win people's hearts. He really is. You know. Yeah. So, so I think that's really what we have for you guys today. Yep. Unless you yep. had anything else. I didn't. So, um, yeah, I would just pray that you guys are encouraged and just know that God, He is on the move. Um, and we are getting ready to just see some, we are really truly getting ready to see the glory of God displayed. Um, and we are going to see him just move mountains, move yeah. mountains in our lives that haven't been able to be moved yet. But he's like, I'm coming to move them. And he's doing all of it because he loves us. And he is really trying to win our hearts in yeah. in a way that is no different than... Remove the veil. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see me. Yes. It's like, remove the veil so you can see the blessing that will blur my vision of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm like, I'm like, Lord, I'm, I'm trying to see you better. Like, what? What? That the blessing is gonna get in the way? No, 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 Devin, just, yeah, just, just be quiet. And just <laughs> receive. <Yeah. laughs> and he's, you know, and he's doing this is as far as just because of love, as as a man goes after a woman's heart, you yeah. know, and just wanting to woo her to himself. And mm-hmm. it's like that is exactly what God's doing with his. His or bride like a, right now. Or is that like a father lavishes his son mm-hmm. who he wants to reward exactly. and who he wants to bless. And it's like, no, let me give you this. Mm-hmm. Let me take you here. Let me do this for you. Let me share this with you. Let me yeah. and it's like there can be so much emotion and excitement and just like, oh see that's probably what will be the blurry part. Yeah. We'll be like, oh my gosh. And it's like, but the being held close by the Lord Himself. Mm-hmm. We will just we will we will be imprinted on his heart. We will we will catch his scent. Uh-huh. We will we will know more of his heart. Yes. And then there will come that point where we just where we just have this mature walk with him in the new. Because yeah. anybody doing anything new, you're 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 not good at it. Yeah. You don't know what you're doing. You, you know, know? And, <laughs> and you need that help alongside you of you to train you and you know, figure things out and um, and, and the, the Lord's just there with you in it. You yeah. Know, it's so cool. I am excited. Yeah. And so <laughs> um, as we just continue to see the Lord, you know, that's really what he's doing. He's like, I'm doing this to capture your hearts and to open your eyes to truly see me for who I am. And um, so I am just really excited, and we just pray that this encourages you guys. um, Continue to just believe and hold fast to the promises that God has given you. And, you know, continue to just stay in line and wait to receive the the rewards that the Lord has for you. So, until next time, guys. Love you guys. We will see you later. Bye. (laughs)